Hey everybody, it's Steve Electron anyone here, and today is another epic mail day. Uh, starting off the mail day, we have a local pickup off Facebook Marketplace. We've got a handful of cards here, so let's just showcase them. Uh, first one here is an Anthony Sorelli Black Lustrous Rookies. Uh, the 65 RPA there, you can see his autograph. I was asking $20 for it. When I first saw it, I didn't see the autograph because it's kind of from far back there. It doesn't really look, look like much. So I'd put that up for 20 I think it's worth about 60 on eBay. So I don't think I'd pick up there. This one I got for 250 just uh, Steven Stamkos number out of 111 Next up, Yanni Gord here. Uh, nice AHL autograph for the Syracuse Crunch PC. Paid $5 for that. It's worth about 10 to 15 Next up, cards looking to flip. I paid ten dollars for this one. Dominic Cahoon, Chicago Blackhawks fluorescence uh, green and a fifteen. And that goes for about, I think fifty to seventy on eBay, but I'd probably sell it for thirty since I paid ten. Um, you know, sell it at a good price. Uh, I believe I th paid two fifty for the Broberg. I think I've sold Brobergs at around eight dollars, ten dollars, so good price there. Fox, I paid five for. Uh, I think he was second in demand scoring this year. So authentic rookie jersey for two fifty. I can sell you know five or ten or something in between there. Next up, Joel Faraby. He had a good start to the year. I paid two fifty for his rookie jersey, so I was happy to pay that as well. Makar, I paid seven for it. Um, fantastic demon for the Avalanche. Um, but I don't know what I'd be asking for it. I haven't looked up comps, but I just thought it was a good price. Joel Kerviranta, young gun canvas. I paid four dollars for it, so you know just a decent canvas card. Vitek Vanacek, two fifty, nice jersey card. Uh, Ryan Kuffner, I believe I paid two fifty as well. Stern, I paid two fifty for. McLeod, I paid two fifty for. And Timmins, I paid two fifty for. So that's just little local pickups. Um, let's get into the mail day. It's probably gonna be a longer one. I got a lot of mail to get through. First one here is a nice Mikhail Sergachev RPA. I paid 32 to 35 for it. Um, I wish he was in the Lightning in his rookie year. He played nine games for the Canadians in what 16, 17. Let's see. In 16, 17, yeah. So he was rookie for the Canadians. So all his stuff is in the Canadians gear, which is unfortunate because he got traded uh, soon after that. Uh, yeah, the next one here. Let's find out together. Mail fall in the background here, but anyway, we've got this PK Subban PMG uh, Precious Metal Gems out of 150 I paid $6 shipped for it, so hopefully I can sell it for, you know, 15 to 20 That's typically what they go for. Continuing on here, we have this another auction win off the site that I'm on. I'm always on, surfing every day. Lightning lot here. Nice select rainbow of Marty St. Louis. These rainbows are quite sought after for random players, I believe. I have a Crosby and a Malkin, and they go for over 100 each. Uh, nice Hardware Heroes of Dave Anerchuk, when he went through the Cup in 2004. Tundra Tandems, Stamco St. Louis out of 50. Nice patches on each of them there. Uh, what year is this? 11 12. Nice card there. Main card is this nice Lustrous Ink out of 50 Marty St. Louis autograph. Got the nice, you know. Triple, uh, I guess, divots insert um, portion there, die cut. Uh, so I think I paid 23 ship for the lot. And then this base of Marty St. Louis here. I was happy paying that. This next one here is from Francisco Sudorski. Uh, he's pretty popular on Facebook. Uh, all these cards were $10. Uh, I actually bought six of them, but I had to open one and I already sold it. So, first one here is Ryan Merkley autograph. I paid $10 for it. He was the first overall pick in the OHL draft. Drafted in the first round of San Jose. Attitude issues off ice, which has, you know, let his kind of prospect stock fall a bit. Uh, he's a top tier offensive defenseman. He was released by his OHL team, signed with the Junior B team, and then the Knights ended up uh, signing him. So uh, he's an interesting, I guess, case, but a uh, nice autograph nonetheless. Next up, Billy Smith autograph, uh, Hall of Fame goaltender for the Islanders there. Um, $10, I think you can at least double my money on that one. 
Next up, Chris Kunitz, Team Canada autograph. I believe this is him at the World Championship. Uh, he played for the Lightning for one season, uh, but Team Canada Lightning kind of goes together to fit into my PC. Next up here is this nice six-way Alex Klorin, uh, I guess titanium six-star patch. Um, just fantastic there. Um, all sorts of, you know, patches there out of 25. So $10, nice pickup. And last but not least, we have this nice Luke Shen, uh, Opichi Premier Rookie, um, authentic game used. Triple jersey autograph out of 2 dollars I have a Stamkos version, and I believe I might even have the Headman version of the respective years. So just a nice uh, lightning player memorabilia. Next up, we have this very disappointed in the seller. I won this auction on April 6th. It is now June 8th. So nearly two months after uh, I won the auction, he shipped it out June 1st. So I, I'm, I have no idea why it would take him two months to ship. Got here in five days, luckily. Uh, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. I guess maybe 0 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, out of 19, this nice Carter Hart Synergy Auto. Um, obviously, he won the Redemption, but if, you, if you're going to auction a card, you have to ship it within you know, a couple couple days, 3, 4, 5 days, not 2 months. So this card's value has dropped since I, I even won it. I paid 46 shipped. At the time, I was selling for 150 but now I'd be lucky to get you know $46 back for it. Uh, just I guess a bad buy, you know, you live and learn. This next one here, uh, interesting case with it. Uh, it's a Headman Rookie Breakouts. He shipped it in this giant bubble mailer. There's no sleeve in here, which is bizarre to me. So he, somebody posted saying, hey, post your Headman cards and uh, I'll buy one. He posted a bunch, buyer passed on it. So I messaged him, say, hey, I'll buy it for 20 shipped. He says, sure. Then another post saying, uh, show me your headwind cards. And he posts this one again for 25. So I messaged him, I said, hey, I thought we had a deal. He goes, oh yes, we do. Um, ignore that. And I was like, ooh, that's kind of sketchy. I already paid for it. So anyway, it did come. So the buyer was true to his word. So I'd like to thank him for that. So it's just a nice die cut rookie year from series two, nine, 10. Next up, uh, ooh, uh, I don't know what this is. Another auction win. Oh yes, one of the favorite backups by the Lightning fan base, Louis Domingue. Got his nice signature sensations there. Um, and then on the back here we have a nice artifacts, autofax. So two autographs in Lightning gear for Louis Domingue. Goes into the Lightning goalie PC. Uh, next up we have this um, little hack I use. Uh, somebody ships you stuff and they have stickers on it. You peel the stickers and you got an empty bubble mailer. And if you can kind of see there faintly, 57. So they write 57 on a majority of the stuff that goes through Canada Post to say, hey, this stamp's been used if they don't write on the stamp. But if you get hand sanitizer, it kind of fades out a bit. So I'll probably put some more hand sanitizer on it and clean it off. And you can just reuse the bubble mailer and the stamp. So little hack I use. Um, you know, it's you only saving a you know a buck and whatever the bubble mailer is, but still, you know, saving and saving. You just retape that up, and then boom, you send it off. But anyway, I paid seven shipped for this nice Andre Vasilevsky uh, seismic gold from 1920 prism. Oh, 1920 Opichi platinum. My bad there. I believe I have uh, the purple violet pixels, and I think I have another one of this. So a couple cards in the. You know, the ends get the rainbow, but I'm not actively searching for it. If it's up for a decent price, I will purchase it. Just going to my OPG Platinum um, collection for the Lightning. This next one, uh, interesting bubble mailer. I uh, recently got into business with a guy who owns a pet store in my local mall. He has a little section in his shop for hockey cards. So he tells me, he says, hey, if you give me a bunch of Canucks cards, I can give you cards for whatever teams you, you want to flip. So I said, yeah, sure. So I picked this up. I believe I paid seven shipped, $2 plus five shipping. For this nice lot of Canucks cards that he will be able to sell. I mean, this sells for $5 online, which in the shop he probably sells for 10 and it will sell. So nice flashy Canucks cards here. Pedersen, Besser, a uh, nice Gaudette numbered out of 749. Nice Pedersen again. And a Gilliam Biesbois. So a nice lot here. Um, generally, I'd stay away from it. Uh, but, you know, reaching out into a new kind of 
I can probably threw in there. A new um, way of flipping cards, I guess you could say, and get branching out a little bit. The last package, I believe, today is this Alexi Lafreniere Hot Prospects CHL Class Autograph. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what it's from. Um, let's see on the back, does it say anything? CHL, 1920 CHL Hockey. So it's 1920 CHL, I believe, game used. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a redemption or not, but it came with this certi certificate of authenticity. So very interesting to me. Kind of what, uh, what the deal is for this autograph. I believe I paid $100 shipped. And came in last minute and bought it. Now on the back here. I thought I saw a ding somewhere, but maybe I was wrong. Regardless, nice card. It goes for about 150 to 200 so we'll be looking to flip it. So that ends the mail day, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.